हेलो एवरीवन सो इन लास्ट लेक्चर आई टॉट कर्ल पियर्सन कोफिशियंट ऑफ कोरिलेशन विथ फाइव कंडीशंस बेस्ड ऑन एग्जिस्टेंस और लिमिट्स ऑफ आर फ्रॉम माइनस वन टू प्लस वन नाउ वी विल सी हाउ टू फाइंड कार कार्ल पियर्सन ऑफ कार्ल पियर्सन कोफिशियंट ऑफ कोरिलेशन so r lies between minus 1 to plus 1 and we have different methods to find r and in which first method is when deviation taken from arithmetic mean so we have this data set advertisement and sales data we can consider this advertisement as x variable and we can consider this uh, sales as y variable now you need to find relationship between uh, sales and expenditure okay so we have this first me method when deviation taken from arithmetic mean so for deviation taken from arithmetic mean arithmetic mean means x bar now we have two columns first is x second is y so for first this is x bar and for second this is y bar mean of first variable and mean of second variable and summation of these variables first x variable is 55 so this means we can say summation x this is what 55 and this quantity divided by n so you will see 55 upon 5 then you will see this as 11 so x bar is 11 in same way summation y this is summation y 90 so if this 90 divided by number of observation then you will see y bar equals to 18 so you have x bar and y bar these are what mean now the term deviation taken from arithmetic mean deviation taken from arithmetic mean means x minus x bar by minus y bar okay so now this first formula is based on x bar x minus x bar and y minus y bar okay so formula is summation of x minus x bar into y minus y bar this is in numerator and in denominator we will take two under roots and we will replace one time this by by x so this become what this term become what x minus x bar x minus x bar this is whole square so we can write this as x minus x bar square now we will do the same task for x we will replace this x by y so this become summation of y minus y bar square so first column we will prepare for x minus x bar this x is 2 x bar is 11 so 2 minus 11 that is what minus 9 in same way we can calculate all these values by subtracting 11 from all these and for y minus y bar first value of y is 10 and y bar is 18 so simply 10 minus 18 that is what minus 8 in that way you can find all these values now in formula you need square of x minus x bar square square of y minus y bar and so we will prepare two column first is for x minus x bar this means square of this square of minus 9 is 81 and then square of this minus uh, y minus y bar so we will prepare this is not cube this is square the square of this column 8 8 just 64 and then you need product and summation so we will multiply this x minus x bar this y minus y bar to get this column so simply this is minus 9 into minus 8 that is what 72 so we can find all these values now this one and this one are always zero because these are deviation taken from mean and this first term is what summation of x minus x bar square and this summation is considered as summation of y minus y bar square and this last is considered as summation of x minus x bar into y minus y bar so now we will put all these values in this formula so you will see 
this as summation x minus x bar y minus y bar this is what 207 and this divided by 2 under roots in first under root this is summation of x minus x bar square so this is what under root 188 and this second one this second one is y minus y bar square so this is what 242 now on solving you will get this is as 0 0.97 so due to this positive symbol there is positive correlation and because this value towards 1 so there is a strong relationship so we can say there is a strong positive correlation between what between x and y and x and y are what advertisement we can say there is a strong positive correlation between advertisement expenditure and sales this means as you will increase advertisement expenditure sale will also increase now one more thing sometimes you will see this formula in form of capital x and capital y so you may write this x minus x bar as capital x and this y minus y bar as capital Y and in denominator you can write this as summation of x square and this is what summation of y square. So you can see this formula in this form also. So I hope you understand this concept. Now in next lecture we will see how to find arithmetic, uh, how to find this curl Pearson coefficient of correlation by using deviation taken from a zoom mean. So please like this video, subscribe my channel, Ganit Coach. Have a nice day. Thank you.